Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're going to continue um, talking about gaming as an adult. Um, like I said, this is something that I've been filling for a long time. Um, and on to be completely honest, this is kind of part of what led me to doing a YouTube channel in the first place. Um, I would sit there and I would watch reviews on YouTube and then I would buy these games and they wouldn't satisfy me. They wouldn't, um, they wouldn't get, you know, they didn't give me that joy or bring that, that, that feeling that I'd been looking for, you know, since, since, you know, becoming a gamer in the first place. So yeah, I, I think I'm going to get into this. There might be a, a few parts to this. Um, this is part two. Uh, this will be PlayStation five edition. Um, just yesterday I did the Xbox edition. So yeah, I might I might do a couple more of these just to kind of get get through all the all the all the feelings and all the all the stuff that I've had you know um, since becoming an, an adult and and playing video games. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe because this this might be this might be a little interesting. Um, so um, PlayStation Five Edition. So like let, let's let's talk about this, okay? Um, for the most part, I've been pretty satisfied with my Xbox Series X. I bought it day one. I I bought it mainly for the upgraded, you know, backward compatibility for all of my, um, for all of my, the, the games that I'd purchased because I'd bought so many of them and, 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 you know, eventually I do end up going back to these games, but you know, the fact that they're enhanced just makes that better when I do finally decide to go back to them. So, but what's different with the PlayStation, okay? Cause I've been a PlayStation guy basically since PlayStation one, like I always bought the PlayStations. Always made sure I got them first. Always made sure that you know I I, I I bought all my games for the PlayStation. I bought you know, um, on my third party on PlayStation and everything else. So you know, PlayStation was basically my console of choice where I where I did all my gaming. Um, that changed you know around the PlayStation Four. You know, well well the, well the Xbox One X when that came out. Um, I definitely started buying all my games on the Xbox. You know, due to the due to better the more power of the system. And being able to push those games harder um, and give me a better visual experience on my 4K TV. So, basically, where I'm at with the PlayStation 5, guys, okay, and this and this works perfectly for this talk, you know, gaming as an adult, um, and why why that why why it just doesn't fulfill that that um, that fantasy as much as it used to when I was younger. When I was younger, like I could play for hours, hours on end. I could literally miss a day of work and sit there and play play video games now it's to the point where even on my days off my scheduled days off or if i take a day off i just get filled with anxiety when i try to play a video game my 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 adult mind is telling me no man this is a work day you should be at work you should definitely be at work nope you ain't got time to play games right now and that anxiety it just takes you over so i'm about I'm I'm well over fifteen hundred dollars into my PlayStation Five now. I have probably put just under seventy five hours of gameplay into that in the last. Gosh, it's almost been five months too. So I mean, five months, and I've only put seventy hours on that machine. And and it's not that it's not that I don't want to play it. It's just there's no content on there for me to play it that that I don't already have on the Xbox and and trust me guys I've been buying second copies of games now for a while since I've had the PlayStation 5 and just so that just so that I want to play it but I'm telling you guys I'm just wasting I'm wasting money on that I like I'm I'm throwing more money away just buying these games again because anyone that I buy on the PlayStation 5 chances are I've already beat it on the Xbox so rebuying that game to try to play it again on the PlayStation 5 um yeah like I've already I've already had that experience and there there was a lot of good games last generation um a lot of good experiences that I had last generation playing these games so like they're they're not games that I that I wouldn't you know possibly go back to and play on the Xbox but at the same time um buying them again on the PlayStation 5 just to play on the PlayStation 5 that to me that's kind of telling you know that you know <clears throat> honestly the PlayStation 5 yes it's a great system but it hasn't really produced any 
any real must-have. I'm going to say it, dude. There's no real must-have PlayStation 5 exclusives that are currently out right now that either fit my niche of games or that I don't already have on the Xbox Series X that that are... Well, no, I mean, because if they're exclusive to PlayStation, there's no way I can get them on the Xbox, right? I mean, yeah, there's there's there, PlayStation hasn't put out anything that that is that directly speaks to me in terms of wow, wow, man, I got to play this game, I got to have that. Um, <clears throat> the closest opportunity I might get this year is Horizon Zero Dawn, but Kenya Bridges Spirits is definitely one of those ones that I'm picking up next month that I do want to play. That looks interesting enough to where I want to um, to I, I want to experience it. I like the way I like the aesthetic of that game. I really do like the way that looks. So, so I do. I want to pick that up and I want to play it. Um, but other than that, like this anxiety that I have over video games has gotten me to the point where where I just it's not that I'm never satisfied. It's more it's more along the lines of. I mean, as you get older, you get better at video games, and they just don't challenge me enough anymore. They don't challenge me to the point where, where like, where, man, on that first Resident Evil game, um, I played that game for probably 30 hours before going down to the, to the local game store and, and picking up the strategy guide for it because, yeah, you had to buy strategy guides, big old thick books back then, and you had to play and read them at the same time and... <clears throat> Like, that game was tough for me back then, and I I'm, i mean, I was 18 years old, and I mean, like, I just, I was having a hard time figuring some of that stuff out, but now I can get through these Resident Evil games without even batting an eye. I mean, they, they've just become to the point where, like, like I understand them so well, and I understand, you know, new, new uh, the new mechanics and, and how to figure things out, because, because that experience that I've gained over the years gaming, I just, I understand how to play things better. So I do. I get through these experiences a lot quicker. Um, the challenges, you know, puzzles, stuff like that. They're just not as um, they're not as they're not as they're not as good as they once. Well, I mean, they're still good. I mean, younger people probably still have a hard time figuring them out. But now they got YouTube, man. Now they can just jump on YouTube and watch how it's done and, and be done with it. You know, instead of like pushing themselves to try to figure things out, they they can just jump right on YouTube. And then that waters down the experience. That makes it worse. Um playing games on like easy mode or story mode i mean you know there's there's some games that that i do that because i'm more interested in like the exploration than i am the uh than, than the actual like combat or something you know of that game um i can usually tell pretty quick when i start a game if the combat's worth you know trying to learn and want to and really want to get into and some games are just yeah dude who cares you know like some games the combat's just more annoying than anything so you just flip it on story mode get through the game and you know, and enjoy what experience you can get out of it. Um, and I only do that with games with terrible combat. I, 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 I don't, I don't, if the, if the game has good combat, I, I definitely will, will tough it out and try to figure it out. <clears throat> um, games like Dark Souls and Sekiro and stuff like that, like those games are, are, are amazing. And you do have to figure out how to, to play those. And that's, and that's great. Like, I love that experience that that's really good. And the combat's meaningful and it works and it's fun like but i am pretty i'm basically pretty new to like the dark souls games you know i buy a lot of them there's some i finish some i don't um <clears throat> well dark souls anything from from software i usually try to get through um Sekiro, i'm still still working on that one but stuff like the surge and the surge 2 i kind of gave up halfway through on those games um i mean there's there's some other ones like lost uh what was it yeah, I mean, there's just some games that I've that I've like just completely given up on and and have no desire to to like really go back and play those right now. And and it was more because of performance and the way the and and, and like the visual aesthetic that you know that kind of turned me away from from those experiences. Like I like the surge too. I love the combat and everything of it, but the aesthetic of that game just was so like diluted that I couldn't that I couldn't bring myself to finish it. It does look a little better on Series X, so I, I have been trying to go back to that and 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 play and finish that experience because I don't want to just leave games not finished. I do want to finish these games. I don't really need to hunt for achievements, but I do at least want to finish the story and, and, and learn the story and stuff because, you know, that's, that's probably my favorite part of games. Like racing games, I'll, I'll play a lot more. But when it comes to... 
like honestly guys when it comes to this video game anxiety like like it's real man it it happens to all of us it 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 has a way of and, and and this is only like since i've gotten older like since i've gotten older since i was you know probably in my 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 early 30s you know late 20s is when it is when it started like you know really kicking in i just i wouldn't have the time to uh to get through these games so at the same time i would uh i mean i like i would have to force myself to get through them and that and that kind of like like when i rush because i do i'll rush through game games sometimes now and it and it and it almost like ruins the experience because I'm not enjoying it. I'm just trying to get through it just so I can just to get through it. And and that's the way like with Red Dead Redemption 2, like I had to I, I started rushing that game just so I could get through it. And and it just ruined so much of that experience that I could have just spent, you know, enjoying enjoying that game and and rushing through it just made it feel like such a slog that it, it, it just it ruined that experience for me more than more than just being able to sit back and play it you know um, <clears throat> and then to, and then and then and then the game is so long that it's so daunting to try to start over again so so I did I kind of ruined that experience for myself and I've done that a few times lately with with some of these newer games um, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart I, I rushed through that to try to get a review out and I don't necessarily think I ruined that experience, but at the same time, like I, I felt like maybe I should have given it more, more time. I mean, I still thought it was a great game and everything, but I, I feel like I should have given it more time so that I could have got more playtime out of it to, um, to better, to better understand it. But I mean, there's, there's people out there saying that they beat this game in like eight hours, six hours, seven, and. And so like, at the same time, I'm like, wow, dude, really? I mean, like, ah, dude, if I would have slowed down, like it, if I would have slowed down any more than what I than what I went through it, like I don't I don't know, like maybe I would have just, yeah, maybe, maybe maybe I did finish it at a decent speed. Like who knows? I'll never know because I was more worried about getting through it and um and getting a review out. But at the same time, like I I did stop and dawdle and look at things and like try to and like see different things and stuff like that. So I, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I rushed through it, but then at the same time, I might not have. I might have just, you know, went through it a pretty, at a pretty steady pace. Um, that Yeah, so so when it comes down to it, <clears throat> like, nobody's alone in this. Like, we're, we're, we're all feeling it. That's why we're on YouTube. That's why we're watching YouTube a lot. That's why we are looking for that next best thing. Um, and... and some of us are even starting YouTube channels to try to, to try to make sense out of this, you know, because yeah, dude, I love playing video games. I'm always going to love playing video games. I, I, I do love those experiences, but at the same time, you know, I buy these games and then if I'm not in the mood to play them, then, then they just sit there and, and wait for me to eventually come back around to them. And, and I buy so many of them that sometimes that's just sometimes that takes a while it took me over a year and a half just to finish uh metro exodus when that first came out and that game's only like 11 hours long so yeah if you uh if you think about it um yeah that's just kind of the way it's just kind of the way it the way it's been you know i mean like playstation 5 it's not a bad system it definitely definitely does what it was advertised to do but at the same time it 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 has not delivered that experience that that was promised to me when i bought it so yeah i don't know i know playstation is going to make some better games i'm definitely excited about those um can't wait for those to show up and yeah so this is part two i'm probably going to maybe do a part three maybe maybe even a part four um <clears throat> I want to do the next two parts like a lot more focused. I want to like talk about, you know, some different subjects and stuff. So if you like this, leave leave a comment. Let me know um, if there's things that you want me to add in into the next video. You know, if you want me to talk about certain aspects or something like. That would be that would be pretty um, that would be pretty helpful, honestly, to tell you the truth. It would definitely be pretty helpful. So. I'm going to go ahead and get this out. I got that fan blowing in my face. It's making me yawn. So um, I, I don't want to turn this into a whole yawny video. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.